The Palm Springs area is a beautiful place, but if you have allergies, it could be a difficult place to live. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you my tips from someone who has bad allergies, what I do to actually curb them and live here year round with no problems at all. My name is Tommy Jordan, your Palm Springs area realtor. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe if you're interested in learning about the Palm Springs area on a weekly basis. Come on, you gotta do it. So our first tip here, I have a map and I want to show you is don't buy a home in a country club or on a golf course. Okay, let me tell you why. If you look across the Palm Springs area or we call it the Coachella Valley, this is Palm Desert right here. You see all this green? Those are country clubs. Those are all beautiful 18 hole golf courses. We have Rancho Mirage right here. More golf courses. Palm Springs actually doesn't have a lot of country club gated communities. Uh, you have Indian Canyons Golf Resort down here. And if we go to the other side of the valley over in La Quinta, you could see, especially south of Highway 111, there's a ton of golf courses. I mean, PJ West is full of them. Living on a golf course, it's beautiful, but there's a lot of pollen. You have grass. There's a lot of mowing that happens every day, okay? And they're blowing grass around 24-7. I mean, golf courses need a lot of maintenance. And if you live on a golf course, that's really gonna make your allergies a lot worse. Now, obviously, during the springtime, that's when allergies are the worst out here, and that happens to be the time a lot of you like to come here on vacation. So I would say, okay, if you're gonna live somewhere like PJ West, try not to live on the golf course because that's gonna help your allergies a lot. Or if you live in a country club like PJ West, at least, Try to live where your house isn't on the golf course. Maybe you're off of the course, okay? Now, there are ways around this that I'm going to show you, and the next way is getting air filters, okay? So there's a better way, but this is the first step, and it's affordable and sort of easy. This is a company called Air Doctor, okay? And we have these throughout our house because it's really simple to set up. You have a few different make and models there, okay? And you could see... It's an ultra HEPA filter, okay, carbon gas, VOCs, it's sealed, it tells you when to change it, it's super easy. You have the smaller one where we actually have this in our kid's bedroom, then you have this larger one, I have this in my office, my home office here where I'm filming, okay, and then you have this larger one, the Air Doctor 3500. Now, we actually tried some different brands. We got the Dyson because everyone's like, the Dyson air filter, it's the best, and we had the Dyson and the Air Doctor set up in our bedroom, and I sprayed hairspray, okay, yeah, I use hairspray for this hair right here, if you didn't know, uh, and the Air Doctor immediately, there's a sensor on the front of it let me show you right here it's really cool there you could see the filter right there the carbon filter hepa filter so this little light changes and it will go to good air quality it will be on blue or yellow or red and you could see as throughout the day if something comes in your house okay uh pollen whatever smoke anything you're you could be cooking and their doctor will kick on automatically you don't have to do anything and it cleans the air okay i had the air doctor and the dyson and the dyson didn't pick up a lot of stuff that the air doctor picked up so this is something i recommend you know if you're going to be living on a golf course even having these throughout your house it's going to make your life so much easier since having these my wife and toddlers okay like they, they were getting really bad allergies and since having doing these tips in this video um our allergies have gotten so much better the next step that i would recommend honestly if you want to step it up is getting something like the linux pure air s system okay this system is pretty high tech okay and this actually goes on to your hvac unit so What's nice about getting, you could see it removes 99.9% .9 of all particles like pollen, dust, and pet dander. I mean, that's pretty amazing. So when you get something like this, I'm trying to see if I could see any photos. This just goes right onto your HVAC system and then you don't have to get the little air doctors or Dysons you know, in the different room. Another one that's really popular is Train Clean Effects Whole Home Air Cleaner, okay? There's lots of HVAC systems 
or systems, lots of, lots of HVAC companies in the desert. I mean, you could see, if you look at the reviews, okay, people say, look at the best protection against allergies we've ever experienced. Definitely can tell the difference. Breathing is much easier, significantly reduced our sneezing. We haven't done this step yet because honestly, the Dyson made a huge, not the Dyson, the, the Air Doctor made a huge difference. I'm scrolling right now because they have a little video. I can't find it, but basically it just shows this going on to your HVAC system. So I would recommend the third step, having one of these fancy systems to really stop your allergies. Now, before I tell you the last and most important step, if you're thinking about buying or selling in the Palm Springs area, don't just watch my videos. Please reach out to me below. I would love to help you. I'm helping people every single day from YouTube and I love it. That's why I make these videos to meet people like you. So here we go. The last and most important step out of all of the other three steps I mentioned, like getting air filters in rooms or a whole house filter or you know, not buying in a country club on the golf course, the next would be buying in the southern parts of town. Let me explain. You see the 10 freeway right here, okay? This runs through the entire Coachella Valley, okay? And the closer you get to this 10 freeway, the windier it gets. I mean, if you're coming into Palm Springs through, you see Whitewater and Highway 111, you'll see all of the windmills all right here. And when you're more, let me change the map again, in the southern parts of town, for example, buying in the Mesa or you know somewhere down here in South Palm Springs, it's a huge difference with the impact of wind versus buying somewhere even like Desert Park Estates, you know, above Highway 111. There's a massive difference in wind. Same here, you know, if you're looking at Rancho Mirage and Palm Desert, they're big cities, okay? And the trade-off is there are a lot of newer homes and homes that are very affordable and nice closer to the 10 freeway because it's less price per square foot there. And the reason is, is because it is more windy there. You know, if you look at somewhere like South Palm Desert or Indian Wells or, you know, Magnesia Falls Cove over in Rancho Mirage, I mean, even the southern parts of La Quinta, the wind is less, so it's more desirable. But as someone who has allergies, living in these areas is preferred because if it's windier, there's going to be more pollen, more sand, and more things just whipping around to impact your allergies. So if you're able to, you know, when you start your home search, and like I said, reach out to me, we could automatically from the start eliminate areas close to that 10 freeway to help you with your allergies. Because you could do a lot of different things to your house like I mentioned, but if you just start from the beginning in an area that's less impacted by the wind and allergies to begin with, it just will make your life so much easier. So if you're thinking about buying, my contact information is below, that's it, that's the end of the video. And if you wanna learn more about the Palm Springs area, check this playlist or this video right here.